You never know what you will find at a Goodwill store. You can really find anything while secondhand shopping. People donate and send in some really cool stuff. It's always good fun shopping around a thrift store and seeing what you could possibly find. Back in 2020, someone was doing their usual shopping at a Goodwill store. While looking through the shop, they had found some empty photo album book. You know, those books with sleeves inside that hold pictures? They purchased the book from Goodwill and went on about their day. Eventually later, back at home, they had taken a look through the empty photo album book they had bought. That is until they noticed it wasn't actually empty. Whoever donated this book to Goodwill had left something inside. One picture was left stuck inside the book. The photo found in the book is strange, super strange and eerie. This picture shows two people in what looks to be a shallow pond or river. Both of them have their hands behind their back. One of the people is sitting down while the other for whatever reason is laying down on their front. And to add to the strangeness of this image, a shadow of a person can be seen, looking to be holding something. I mean, if we're looking at this picture in the context that these people on the ground are in danger? A weapon maybe? A gun? I don't know. Finding this weird image in a book at Goodwill is crazy. In a past video, I talked about a YouTube channel that found weird videos on the SD cards of cameras from thrift stores. The videos were just a weird alleged ghost sighting and a random eye video, but this thrift shop discovery could possibly be much darker. I mean sure, this could potentially be nothing and just taken out of context, but it just looks too strange, I don't know. Eventually, its discovery would make its way onto the internet, being posted onto Facebook. This photo was found in a book at Goodwill. Tell me your thoughts and what you see. It's been turned into police. No, I didn't find it. The photo was found in a book given through donations to a Goodwill in Washington state. There's no other known info, please don't message me asking the same questions. On June 4th, 2020, a post was eventually made onto the Bureau of Investigation subreddit detailing the peculiar find, and bringing this mystery some popularity and spotlight. Someone in a mums group I am in on Facebook said someone she knows found this in a book bought at Goodwill. She claims to have given it to the police. My first thought was it's props from a movie, but I can't find anything on Tin Eye. Thoughts? Okay, so let's take a look at some theories revolving around this image. A lot of people have given their thoughts and ideas on what this could possibly be. The main theory is, of course, that these men in the water are tied up and are in danger, in a malicious situation of some sort. That is the big theory most people think of. But, like I said earlier before, this image could be taken out of context. It could legit be nothing at all, and nothing remotely evil is happening within this picture whatsoever. This comment states the following. My dad and his idiot friends used to go make movies in the woods as teenagers young adults in the late 60s. They'd pretend to be in a war or pirates looking for treasure, Lewis and Clark, etc. I've seen some odd pictures. It could be that simple, or at least I hope so. Maybe it's just that. Some dudes in the 80s or whenever these photos were taken, making a cool film of some sort. There is also speculation that this photo is maybe of some marines in a training camp, or some sort of training or exercise. This would also make sense as to why the people in the water are both wearing the same coloured shirt, you know, they're in a group or uniform or something. And also, if this photo really had bad stuff going on in it, why was it photographed and then placed inside a photo album book? I know there's weird people that do weird things, but I don't know, that's just weird to me. And like, if there was a horrible crime going on in this photo, and you knew photos of it were put inside this book, you'd be a bit cautious to, you know, not leave it in and donate it to a Goodwill. But who knows, this photo is still a mystery that has intrigued many people over the last couple years. People to this day still have no idea what is going on in this photo, and I'll be surprised if we ever find a true answer. On 
on YouTube, there is an obscure channel that exists known as Mother 3. I'm sure maybe a good amount of you are somewhat familiar with Mother 3 the video game. If you are not familiar though, that's fine. All you need to know is that it's a video game that has absolutely nothing to do with the Lorax. Every single video on this channel is titled Mother 3. Every video's description reads Mother 3. Their channel about section is just Mother 3. But for some reason, all the videos on the channel are just about the Lorax. The video game Mother 3 is barely mentioned or seen in these videos. The videos on the channel are really strange too. Here's a snippet of their most popular video which is apparently a Mother 3 showcase reel. Yeah, weird stuff. I'll show you some other videos from Mother 3. It'll give you probably a better idea for what the videos on this channel are like. This video with the Lorax in the thumbnail flipping his finger is legit just flashing orange and yellow pixels with really loud static and screams or something heard in the background. I don't, I don't even know. It gets darker till it suddenly falls silent and cuts to black for the last few seconds of the video. You can faintly see something through the darkness. I did a little editing to see if you can see what it is and I'm going to assume it's the Lorax. I think that's a safe guess. The video with the Big Chungus Lorax thumbnail is pretty interesting. This video is a slideshow showing the effects of motherization. Text appears which says, look at all the beautiful people affected by this horrible condition, and a slideshow of people looking like the Lorax goes on. The video ends with a quote by Dr. Seuss which says, don't wind up like me kids, it might cost you everything. I don't think this is a real quote by Seuss, never been said, I don't know who this is by. And then it tells us the condition is curable and to schedule an appointment today. And this video with a Lorax plush thumbnail is a video in portrait filming like a computer screen or something that has nature videos on it with a huge red Mother 3 covering the footage. At the end of the video, we can see the Lorax is just placed in the nature video. This channel has been uploading videos like this for almost four years now. It's goddamn amazing. This channel is genuinely art. I actually really like this channel a lot. I'm just so fascinated by everything about it. Is there any message or meaning at all behind these videos or is it just for giggles? Just messing around making some strange videos. The closest similarities that Mother 3 and the Lorax have are that they both share environmentalist themes, but that's it really. Their last few videos were uploaded two to three months ago. The video from three months ago is pretty weird. The video shows a forest filled with trees in black and white and in really low quality. At the start of the video, text that reads Mother 3 can be seen, but only if you slow down the video and catch it at the right time. It comes up and disappears really quickly. And then, you know, a really awesome Lorax image slowly fades in. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what this is. The last video they uploaded to the channel from two months ago is of course just as weird. This video has a title at the start which reads Mother3Archival.mp4 Presentation Recovery. Then some text after that states Presentation Inorganically grown motherized being under natural thoughts and media imitation. The inorganic motherized matter was left to replicate the following prompt under the guise that it could freely imitate such without the force control. It says a bunch of prompts, and then, unlike the previous Motherize video, the following footage was produced upon the process being abruptly cut and therefore not entirely developed. The following are the results of said process upon being aborted by control. Footage has been sharpened in post as to unmuddy the contents. And then, the video plays. Like, this channel captivates me so much. This whole channel is just so insane. 
Just an obscure channel I wanted to share with you guys, and yeah, hopefully you find it as interesting as much as I do. On May 8th, 2024, a user who goes by Eclipsis1601 had made a post onto the paranormal subreddit, talking about something weird that happened to them back in 2019. So, it happened to me in 2019. After five years, I'm still horrified the fact that happened to me. One day, I was using my PC and noticed that the Google logo wasn't in the place it was supposed to be. I thought it was a bug, it was just missing. After a week, when I searched for something, the Google logo on the above left was replaced with something absolutely horrific. I scanned my PC with Kaspersky back then and found nothing. Resetting my browser solved the problem. I'm adding the image. There is no other copies of this image on the net. If you know where it's from, please tell me because I'm still kinda scared. I swear it's not fictional, it's real, and I'm still effing confused. This Reddit post received a lot of attention. Why did this image appear? What's the reason this showed up instead of the Google logo? And what is this image? What is this? This looks so weird. People had said some pretty good comments on why this probably happened and assured there is no paranormal activity. Like this user who said, your cache was corrupted and instead of re-downloading the Google logo when you visited the page, your computer said, no need, I have the Google logo saved right here, and instead provided another image that your computer had already downloaded at some point, from the millions of images your computer downloads whenever you visit a website. Given the level of distortion, it appears to have been a normal sized image, compressed to the size of a small logo, and then you noticed an either screenshot or saved it again causing it to be re-expanded, but now missing all of the detail. This is a fair theory. I don't know anything about anything, so sure, I'm just taking this user's word. It sounds about right, I guess. However, there is still a mystery in this story, the image itself. I am very curious as to what this image is, and I'm not the only one. People in the comments of this post have been trying to figure out what this image is. Where did it come from? What is it of? Reverse image searching doesn't work at all. It is super low quality to make out anything that's happening and it just looks super weird. I don't blame OP for being creeped out by this whole thing because this is definitely a haunting looking image. Some users have upscaled the image using AI to make more sense of it but it still looks so confusing. To me, it looks like someone standing in front of a camera in some room. I can see what looks to be another person sitting down in the background with their knees up to their face. The person that's standing in front of the camera though really weirds me out. Like literally, what is this? Why do they not have like any face at all? I mean sure they could be facing the other way and this is the back of their head just showing hair but if that's the case, they must have the longest neck in the world because if this is their shoulders, where is their head? Like, what am I look- what am I looking at right now? Everyone sees something different. Some people see a shirtless man with a mask, some see it as a girl in a pink shirt, someone even sees it as a person in a bear costume, making a thumbs up with both hands, which is kind of wholesome. So far, no one has been able to find out where this image is from. The image is still a mystery, and its origin is completely unknown. The OP seemed really freaked out by this whole situation that happened back 5 years ago, so hopefully one day they can get closure with this whole situation and the image in its full quality is found. I'm definitely eager to see what this image actually is. Back in 2018. A user who goes by Garbor72 had posted a small snippet of a song onto the What's That Song website, with hopes that the community would be able to help in identifying what it was called and who it was by. This is the song that had been posted. And now I know it's just a game. I don't need the rules to play. Maybe it's happy, maybe it's sad, 
But you can choose the way to play And now I know it's just a game And I don't need the rules to play Maybe it's happy, maybe it's sad But you can choose the way to play The post didn't gain much traction, getting a small number of plays and comments. Gabor, unfortunately, wasn't able to find an answer to this mystery. Fast forward some years later, and this song that was posted by Gabor has since turned into a huge internet mystery. With the growing popularity of Lost Wave and mysterious songs on the internet, this small mysterious snippet has intrigued so many people. The song snippet is now referred to as just a game. It sounds catchy, it sounds really good, yet not a single person has been able to identify what it's called or who made it. It's so strange. Garbor72 uploaded a lot of different songs onto What's That Song, and I mean a lot. 107 different songs. Every single song, except for just a game, has been identified. Which is crazy, the song is completely unknown. Many theories and ideas have been made about the song. The song is presumed to be from the 80s or 90s, it just has that sound to it. It's theorized that Gabor acquired this song by recording it from some radio station back in the 80s or 90s, made by some obscure band that has just been forgotten to time. People have come up with their own theories as to where it originated from based on just how it sounds. Many people have stated that this sounds like some type of musical song, and might have been performed live. Some people have also said the song sounds like it would play at the end credits of a movie, maybe coming from a film or something. People as well have been looking at the lyrics of the song. Since this song's lyrics talk about a game and rules and different ways to play it, many people think that this could be potentially for an advertisement promoting some board game or something. It's super easy to say this could have come from a commercial or TV show, but it literally could have come from anywhere. Many songs which were once lost and a complete mystery have since been found, and it turns out most of these songs come from the most random places. I'm Yours was a song that was once lost with only a small snippet available. I discussed this song way back, and the main theory was that it was some internet safety PSA from the radio based on its lyrics. But it was found, and it just turned out to be an ordinary song, it was not a PSA. And of course, everyone knows that, Ulterior Motives. It was thought to have maybe originated from an 80s commercial or something, maybe from an old TV show, but it was found in a much more interesting place no one was really expecting at all. Just a game could be found from anything and anywhere, is all I'm saying. We don't have the full song. The snippet we have for just a game is just 30 seconds. Due to copyright reasons, What's That Song will cut off songs longer than 30 seconds and make it only 30 seconds long. So there's a chance that Gabor had a longer snippet of this song, but What's That Song blocked out the rest that existed. And it's always useful to have a longer snippet because what if extra lyrics in a longer sample can help in tracking down what the song is called? It's pretty annoying not having a longer version. In May of this year, the search for the song took a really sad turn. Gabor72 is the user who posted just a game onto WhatsApp's song, and Gabor72's Facebook was discovered. It was learned that Gabor had passed away this year on the 6th of March 2024, at 51 years old. So unfortunate, just really sad stuff. And it's tragic too, that Gabor never found out what this song was. For a long time, it was thought that maybe the song had come from vinyl, as all the other songs Gabor uploaded to What's That Song seemed to be vinyl releases from the late 80s to early 90s. However, a Reddit user managed to get into touch with Gabor's daughter, and she revealed that Gabor didn't own any vinyls at all. It was claimed the snippet probably came from an Italian radio station between 1985 and 1996. And I believe she may be attempting to retrieve the full snippet, I'm not too sure. I really hope this song gets found soon. I mean, with Gabor's unfortunate passing, it just has to now. Gabor wanted to find this song, so let's find it. There aren't really any strong leads going on as of now, but 
hopefully that changes and we get closer to solving what this song is.